Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tanzima if you've never watched a video of mine before and I film like beauty, lifestyle and now parenting videos. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any but if you are one of my subscribers welcome back um, to my channel. Today I'm going to do a little bit of a vlog. Excuse the face I've just given up on makeup. Mum life does that to you. I've noticed I don't really vlog as much anymore and I think it's because I've started wearing the hijab. I don't always wear the hijab when I'm at home because obviously like there's no need to and then I just don't pick the camera up because I haven't got my head covered. But today I've put on a little cap and a scarf and I wanted to vlog um, a bit of my evening with you because today we have um, received my baby's cot and we're going to get that made and I really wanted to show you guys it because it is one from Mamas and Papas. If you've been watching my... Um, um, channel and my previous videos you'll know that I'm going to be part of the Mamas and Papas parenting panel I'll link the video in the eye somewhere but I'm going to be part of the Mamas and Papas parenting panel for the next year and part of that means that I get to receive amazing products like this cot to review um, I actually was going to purchase this cot myself but they said that they would very kindly gift it to me so I'm really really excited about that and I thought I'd show you guys what it looks like. So because um, I really want it to be super sturdy and I don't trust myself or my husband enough, we're actually going to get somebody to come and fit it for us. So unfortunately, I don't think that person would like to be on film, so I can't actually show you guys how they fit it, but I will show you um, what it looks like afterwards. So our house is still getting a lot of work done. Um, we've, as you can see, there's like cardboard and stuff on the floor. Um, but while that work happens, we're still able to live here. So this is the cot that has been delivered. We've just got um, a standard mattress for now, but watch the space. But in the meantime, this is what the cot looks like now. It comes in three packages and hopefully once it's done, you'll get to see how pretty it looks. So whilst we wait for the cot to be assembled, the person hasn't arrived yet. You can see behind me, I've got a bit of a mess. So I thought I would do a bit of a speed clean. I need to clean all the stuff in the dishes. Um, so I do a tiny little bit of a speed clean, just this little area here. Um, and then tonight I should be cooking lamb stew for the first time. So I thought I'd vlog that as well. Um, fingers crossed it turns out okay. Um, we've got a grocery delivery as well. Me and baby are actually going to be going to Canada in 10 days um, with my mum and my little brother. So we've got a grocery delivery coming with lots of baby food, um, her formula and things like that. So hopefully I'll get to show you that as well. So keep on watching. I don't really need a new friend, so spend your time with me. Looking for someone who can play though, want to hang with me. I'm not really looking for a friend, so spend your time with me. Looking for someone not afraid of Give it all to me Get next to me, get next to me All that I want is to get next to you Get next to you Not asking for much, but it feels like the two of us are gold And the gold you see What do you got? So take a chance, take a chance on me It's magical when you are close So get closer, babe What do you got? Cause I am gold and I'm gold a mess but this is the current setup we've got the bed and we've got the snooze pod right next to it excuse the mess but she's definitely definitely outgrown this snooze pod she rolls over so usually most of the time i'm co-sleeping with her on the bed so i'm really excited to have a cot in this space so this is the before so this is what the cot looked like afterwards I didn't actually manage to get a shot of it after the guy left because he left quite late and I was too busy cooking and stuff as you guys will see later on in the vlog but I'm going to do a really depth review um, of the cot after we've used it for a while and the mattress but I will say the very first night that Ira used it she loved it she slept in it perfectly fine and it looks absolutely beautiful so I'll say bye now from the future and let's get back to the vlog 
So Ari's woken up, so we're leaving her in her little mama's and papa's seat, which wasn't gifted, I actually bought this myself. Um, and I'm gonna carry on with the cleaning. Right, so the person who's actually gonna make my cot has arrived. And um, they're actually my husband's friend, so I'm gonna make them like a couple of fried bits and pieces, maybe some biscuits, coffee. Um, so let's do that. I want to be there and baby dance the night away. I let my head down if I want. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time? Doesn't sound like fun. We're currently weaning Aria, so I'm currently just peeling some mangoes. She really likes mangoes. I'm just peeling some mangoes and I'm gonna blend this up and try and coax her to have it. She's just trying new flavors at the moment, so fingers crossed this one is a success. She has tried mango before and it's been okay, but she's a bit hit and miss some days. You can do better. Let me show you what a good time looks like. You can do better. So much better. Mm -hmm. I don't fit to your parts. Beauty queens without no gloves. You can do better. I dare you to. So I can see it's really nice and runny. I might freeze some because these mangoes are quite hard to get. It's the last of the season now. They're really soft and really sweet. And like I said, you can't get, really get them throughout the whole year. So I'm going to see if my mum can pick me up some more of these mangoes so I can just blend them and freeze them for the next three months. Rosie has arrived. And if I'm honest, I'm a little bit overwhelmed because our freezer section isn't actually that big. So we are going to buy a separate freezer eventually, but it just needs organizing, I think. We've bought loads of ice creams. My husband weirdly likes these. I like Twister. And I have some haagen ice cream as well that I need to put in the fridge. Freezer. I might be broken down, but I'm smiling. I keep my head up high, though I fail. Sometimes I get a bit emotional. But then I turn around and let it go. I see you watching me from a distance. I see you can't decide what to feel But if you dig a little deeper, boy You know you really wanna get to know me Let's get this out of the way I can't wait another day Today Hey guys, sorry I haven't been talking um, Basically, my shoe is ready to go and start cooking in the instant pot I'm going to select this do function make sure this is set to ceiling and uh, i think 35 minutes should be good so i think all i have to do is just leave it there and it's going to start just to clean up now we've got love island playing and i need to put away all this um plates and stuff but yeah i'm going to get on with doing that right guys so it's the moment of truth it smells good so far oh my gosh i just want to open See, let's try not to burn myself. It's bubbling. It looks very carroty. It's very liquidy as well. I think I would have liked the stew to be a little bit thicker. I think next time I could probably just get away with one packet of vegetable stock. I am sauteing it a little bit more just to get the like stew a little bit thicker. So I'm not happy with the consistency. So hopefully like this will reduce down a little bit more. Fingers crossed. I'm not absolutely loving the flavour either. It's okay, it'll do, but it's not my favourite dish that I've ever cooked. So basically I didn't like the flavour and then added a like a really big teaspoon of this into here and oh my god it saved it and it's gone thicker as well. It tastes so good now. Obviously you just need a little bit of Bengali flavour to make it better. Dinner is ready. I didn't even bother like trying to make it pretty. We've got mashed potato and some bread and butter and some stew. And unfortunately someone's refusing to go to sleep. And I've got loads of tidying up to do.